in the fall of man there was a corruption of the image of God in man and instead of recognizing and worshiping the true God man began to elevate the created being to God and worship a God that he could control you see God gave man dominion over all the earth but when the fall took place that dominion became domination and man became rebellious in heart and that rebellion led to man wanting to be autonomous independent no one nobody tell me what to do so God's authority came into question and there was no accountability and a feature of idolatry is that you can control the idol the idol is controllable you can manipulate the idol and sometimes brethren I wonder when people speak as if God is a push button God that can be manipulated I wonder if they are worshiping an idol instead of the true and living God are you with me now what I mean is you know you've heard 10 steps to peace with God three steps to a successful marriage four steps to get your write your ticket with God two steps to prosperity as if to say that if you apply certain parts of a formula God is obligated to serve you but how many of you know that God is to be served he doesn't come to serve you amen he's God and we are accountable to God God is not accountable to us so don't bother go demanding this and that from God be careful how you talk to God because he's God remember Job Job read Deuteronomy 28 and Job did everything that he was supposed to do and he prospered and he was blessed and one day God allowed the enemy to come into his life and destroy his property and his children and his even, even his wife said Job God turn against you curse God and die his comforters anybody ever had miserable comforters when you really need <laughs> well Job had some miserable comforters. His miserable comforters said, Job, you know, see that you must have sinned grievously against God. Because the formula says that if you sin, God will curse you and give you all kinds of problems. And if you are righteous, God will bless you and everything will go wrong. Right. Amen. Simple, straightforward, right? So logically, Job, you miss God. You haven't been pleasing God. That's the point of the whole story of Job. That God is God. Because when God came to Job, God gave him some lyrics, you see. Where were you? Gave him some lyrics that Job couldn't answer. And brethren, it's time we put God in his rightful place in our hearts. And stop the foolishness. As if to say God can be manipulated by our likes and dislikes. God has more important things in mind for your life than your personal peace and affluence and safety. Give the Lord a praise. God's priority is not that you be comfortable. Give me some music, brother. God's priority is not that you have security. It's not even the middle. It's how you finish. It's how you finish. And there's coming a time when God is going to reverse the curse in the world. And the kingdoms of this world are going to become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever and ever.